This is Xavier Dolan. He is a director. It was only seven years ago that he brought his first feature film, I Killed My Mother, to the prestigious Cannes Film Festival, where it won three awards and launched the young actor's career as a filmmaker. Seven years and loads of accolades later, Dolan has become well known for his impressive filmography. His current films include I Killed My Mother, Heartbeats, Lawrence Anyways, Time at the Farm, Mommy, and the upcoming it's only the end of the world. Now what makes Dolan such an accomplished director? While the common audience is easily captivated by the aesthetic aspect of his films, there's something deeper to his choices that makes him such a good director. The prevalent theme within Dolan's film is the dark tale of youth. His films are about a generation and their encounters with failing relationships, heartbreaks, rejection, etc. For example, I Kill My Mother and Mommy are two perspectives on the strained relationships between mothers and sons. Heartbeats is about how a love triangle ruins the relationship between two best friends. What's refreshing is that Dolan is living within this experience himself as a young homosexual director. Dolan has stated that many of his films are personal, particularly I Kill My Mother, which he has stated is autobiographical. Thus, he paints an incredibly accurate and vivid slice of life. For example, while Dolan caters to queer cinema, his films differ to many other films within the genre. The sexual orientations of his characters are never the main conflict within his films. In fact, he creates worlds where orientations apart from heterosexuality are normalized. The conflicts his characters face are not internal, but with the people closest to them. It's as if his films capture characters in a transitional period before they are pushed to a new equilibrium. His age and relative newness to the film industry makes him ambitious and willing to experiment with new or unconventional techniques. The most prominent case of this is how his film Mommy is ambitiously presented entirely in a square ratio. While his choices occasionally come across as pretentious, his innovation truly sets him apart from other directors. Another case of Dolan's ambitiousness is his interesting and unconventional choice in music. While pop music isn't generally used to accompany films, Dolan disregards this to his benefit. This adds not only youthful taste to his films, but his choices truly do capture the mood and tone of the particular scene. While traditional directors tend to focus on the capabilities of the actors, Dolan tends to rely heavily on visuals for his emotional storytelling process. Thus, his stylistic devices are highly articulate. The most prominent method of visual storytelling that Dolan utilizes is through colors. Dolan is extremely fond of vibrant colors with significant meanings. This translates into both his lighting and mise-en-scene. Rather than through their actions, a character's true nature is more prominently seen through what colors are associated with them or can be found within the scene. In Heartbeats, conflict between Francis and Marie are supported through their dominant colors. Francis is represented through cool colors, particularly blue, while Marie is represented through warm colors, particularly red. They are opposing forces or two sides of the same coin. This scene shows a green light illuminating Marie's face as feelings of disgust and envy overwhelm her when she sees Francis. Color is not the only tool Dolan utilizes to project a character's state of mind. Dolan also tends to intercut scenes with bit surreal visuals to depict a character's state of mind or thoughts. When I killed my mother, Hubert visualizes his mother and her friend as tacky birds of paradise, showing his contempt for their obnoxious and pointless chatter. When Hubert reaches his emotional tipping point, the scene is intercut with a shot of a shop window getting smashed. Hubert later visualizes his mother as a nun shedding tears of blood, showing how he envisions her as pure on the outside, yet pure evil internally. The mise-en-scene and setting also often carries clues concerning the true nature of the characters. Dolan has a tendency to place pieces of artwork within a setting that act as a window. A painting of a screaming figure is seen in the background as Francis and Marie converse. While they act civil, it is clear that their internalized contempt for each other is driving them mad. Dolan is extremely fond of slow motion shots, or shots that last extensively. It's as if he refuses to allow the audience to miss a single raw moment of this slice of life and places them within the scene to experience it to its entirety. Many of his slow motion shots follow the back of a character's head as they walk forward, 
Not only does this camera setup position the audience in a similar perspective to the character, it also attests to a difficulty to them as people. Even at their most open, they are separated from a complete understanding by the audience. During pieces of dialogue, Dolan tends to position characters within an extensive wide shot. Dolan is extremely adept with in framing and in a way, these shots are like paintings that have come to life. They often carry visual clues concerning the inner workings of a character. Dolan is also very interested in the small quirks of human beings. He uses close-up shots to highlight the slightest of facial expressions and motions. These shots open an intimate new window into the emotions and thoughts of his characters. Apart from visual techniques, Dolan often includes a separate track between acts as a form of transition and guideline for his films. In I Killed My Mother, a recording of Hubert's monologue about his strained relationship with his mother strings together in the film. This recording fits within the narrative as, during the final act, his mother discovers it, further complicating their relationship. In Heartbeats, acts of the film are separated by interviews with people who do not fit within the actual narrative, talking about their complications with romance. The particular topics they cover foreshadow and set the mood for the following act. The translation of Delon's character's motifs is clear due to his consistent and unique visual techniques. Instead, even new developments of past techniques or the introduction of new ones contribute to this balance that can be labeled as Delon's style. This is why Dolan is truly a great director.